A man's hand got stuck in a conveyor belt. His whole body was hanging from it. His arm kept dripping red. A firefighter climbed to the top, trying to lift the conveyor belt with a crowbar. But the belt was too heavy. It just wouldn't budge. Please, I don't want to lose my arm. Suddenly, the conveyor belt started moving. The firefighter almost fell off. Thankfully, he's really into fitness. He held onto the platform. Then his team pulled him up. The firefighter reversed the machine. The man's stuck arm finally got free. Who knows if he'll ever be able to clap again. The man actually punched Eddie in the balls. It's not me! It's me! Then he grabbed Buck by the throat. Moments earlier, while giving a lecture, the man had lost control of his hand. When the firefighters arrived, they thought it was a comedy skit. I think he's suffering from alien hand syndrome, Cap. That's not a real thing. The man was on the verge of suffocation. Buck was puzzled such a skinny man could have so much strength. Turns out, the man had undergone heart surgery. He was likely having a stroke and needed immediate treatment. Unexpectedly, the man put Buck in a chokehold. The quick-witted captain saved Buck just in time. Eddie got hit again. It's not me! It's me! Oh! Then Buck was attacked once more. Fortunately, Chui stepped in and administered a sedative to protect everyone else from further harm. They tied the man up. Poor Buck, he almost lost his little guy. The hottie's mouth was glued shut. She couldn't breathe because she had accidentally used glue, thinking it was lipstick. When the firefighters arrived, the woman was already slumped on the ground. The firefighter told her not to breathe through her mouth, then took out a red straw and put it in her nose. With the straw, the woman could finally breathe. Next, the firefighter used nail polish remover and put it on her mouth. After half a year, the glue on her mouth finally came off. The woman could breathe again, but she still needed to go to the hospital because she might have swallowed some glue. A man's hand got stuck in a crusher. When the firefighters arrived, he was already sweating a lot. The machine was stained with his blood. The firefighters decided to pull his arm out together. One. The man couldn't stand the pain. So, the firefighters had to take the machine apart and take the man and the machine to the hospital. The man lay on the stretcher with his mechanical arm. Every time he moved, the pain was unbearable. When the man finally got to the hospital, the firefighters took out a screwdriver and removed the gears. But if they could take it apart, why did they wait until they got to the hospital? Do you know why? The hottie got trapped in cement. Can you believe the perpetrator was her own son? Just now, the mom was tied to a chair. She just got free, but her son pulled her back. He asked her, whose son am I really? Turns out, the man had an older sister because she often goes to bed with others. The man, who was adopted, also wanted to go to bed with her sister, but his sister said no. You're my son. Actually, his mom was really his grandma. The angry man pushed his grandma into a pit pulled over an iron door, and sealed the exit. Cement started pouring in, soon to fill the pit. Grandma couldn't move at all. Just then, the police, alerted by his sister, finally arrived. They overpowered the man, lifted the heavy iron door, and rescued Grandma from the cement. Would you feel sorry for this man? This pro driver mistakes the gas pedal for the brake and drives straight up into the sky. When the firefighters arrived, the car was already stuck on a 100,000 volt power line. What they didn't know was, the man in the car had a heart condition. To get him out quickly, the captain decided to set up a ladder and get close to the car fast. When they got to the car, the firefighter handed the man a blanket to wrap around the car to prevent electric shock. Then he handed him a plastic board just as they were about to climb out. Sparks ignited the leaking gasoline. The two of them climbed out through the windows, right after they got off the ladder. Dare you to drive a car onto a power pole? A hottie got pierced by a forklift. After checking, the firefighter found the injury was too close to her spine. To prevent heavy bleeding, they decided to leave the fork inside her and take her to the hospital together. They took the cargo off the forklift, but before cutting, the firefighter noticed the shelf wasn't stable. If they cut now, the cargo would fall on the woman. So, they called a firefighter who could drive a forklift. After moving the cargo down, they finally started cutting. After cutting the shelf, they lifted the woman onto a stretcher. Do you know why they pour water while cutting? 
a man accidentally fell into a pile of soybeans and started sinking. His friend opened the outlet, making him sink even deeper. Firefighters rushed to the scene as soon as they got the call. One climbed on top, just as the man was about to be completely swallowed. The firefighter reached out to grab him. The man was too panicked to hold on, so the firefighter used all his strength to grab him. Finally, the man didn't sink. Other firefighters quickly came to help. They surrounded the man with boards to stop the soybeans from flowing in, then started digging. After 10 minutes, the man was rescued and sent to the hospital. There was a fire in a tall building, but a man got stuck inside. When the firefighters arrived, the man jumped right out. If the firefighter hadn't reacted quickly, he would have been pushed off. When the man landed, he finally said his wife was still upstairs. The firefighters went back in. By then, the place was full of flames. Two firefighters getting ready to leave. Then they heard the wife calling for help. Just before the place exploded, they saved her, but her husband wasn't happy. The next day, the firefighters were investigating the cause of the fire, and they found three fire spots in the same area. It was clearly arson. After the firefighters reported it, the man was finally arrested. The man got stuck in the gear chain, but the firefighters almost got hurt trying to save him. Just now, the firefighters got a call. A crew member had an accident while working. His leg got caught in the gear chain. They saw his leg was badly injured and bleeding a lot. It might have hit an artery. The firefighters wanted to take the machine apart, but the man had already passed out, so they needed to save him fast. The captain told a team member to run the engine, but it was the first time he used it, and he didn't know which way to turn it. When the machine started, he got the direction wrong. The captain's hand got caught in the gears. The team quickly changed direction, and finally pulled out the the captain's hand and the man's leg from the machine. While riding, he dodged the car but crashed into the glass, nearly getting cut in half. Firefighters checked the situation. The man weakly cried for help. Paramedics examined him and found his condition was really bad. He could bleed to death soon. Hang in there, okay? We're gonna get you out. The captain quickly organized a rescue. But the scene was chaotic. Bystanders ignored warnings to film. Even passing drivers hit the firefighters. What the hell? Suddenly, the man started coughing out blood. Firefighters quickly set up a support frame. Carefully, the guy cut through the glass, smashing the glass below. Together, they carefully flipped the man over. Then lifted him onto a stretcher, with such a large piece of glass stuck in his belly. It's really lucky he survived, so be careful when riding. Two hours left in the shift and no calls yet. He did not just say that. Accident. Today is Thanksgiving. A man puts a birkin chicken in the microwave. Then the whole house catches on fire. After putting out the fire, the firefighters get ready to go eat their turkey. But just as the turkey is brought out, A couple has a car accident. The wife is rescued, but she's about to give birth. Do something! Ten minutes later, the baby is finally born. Back at the fire station, the firefighters finally get to eat their turkey. 